Well, hey guys, it's Jake here from Bukarev.com bringing you a two-part video. Well, not two parts really, but a dual purpose. The main purpose of this video is to really just uh, introduce Tangier's Lucid to any of you who are unfamiliar with it, never heard about it, or maybe even heard about it, but don't really understand it, or don't appreciate it. So, in the second part of the video, or the bonus part, will be a review on the Tangier's Lucid Cocoa flavor. So, really, I just wanted to really bring this up. Um, just kind of staying up to date and current, well not really not really any new news. Tangiers is certainly not new, it's been around for about eight years uh, and there's a lot of diehard fans out there and until recently I couldn't really understand why. Uh, but yeah, but basically for Tangiers there's, there's, there's three lines for them really, well the, the F line was discontinued, but there's Tangiers, just the regular Tangiers uh, and there's the Tangiers Lucid which is the more washed version or uh, I guess you could call it a more lightweight version, lower nicotine level and it, it definitely smokes differently and there's there's a different characteristics to the tobacco itself. And then there's the F line. Certain vendors still sell that. Uh, if you can get your hands on it, what you're going to expect from the F line is it's a caffeinated version. So if you want a buzz, the F line is something to go look for. Uh, but yeah, so really I just want to introduce the Lucid version of Tangiers to everybody and just kind of talk about that and, and maybe uh, just just hopefully to, to kind of educate everybody on it. Um, if you're anything like me, and since we're all friends here, I'll, I'll be completely honest, and I think I mentioned this a little earlier, but until recently, I was far from a Tangiers fan. Uh, but I think that's mainly because I, I didn't really understand it, I didn't really, I didn't really have the know-how. Um, and just through experimentation recently, I, I've just grown to love Tangiers Lucid. I have, I have still yet to play a little bit more with the regular Tangiers line and I definitely want to get on that but for me I don't really enjoy getting the huge knockout buzz uh, I like to enjoy my sessions just kind of mellow out uh, while still enjoying great smoke so for me Lucid is amazing so uh, let me show you the cut a little bit here and mind you for Tangiers whether it be Lucid, F-Line or regular you want to keep it in a shallow bowl uh, and there's an acclimation process. I know it's a lot of information for those of you who've never heard uh, dealt with Tangiers, but that's just one more reason to subscribe to the Hooker Up channel and just stay current because I'm going to release a lot more videos about Tangiers. So here it is in a shallow pan um, or a shallow Tupperware piece. But basically you can see here, it's a really, really, really natural tobacco. There's no color additives uh, and actually I had the privilege of actually hanging out with uh, Eric at the Tangiers Lounge in San Diego where actually all the tobacco was manufactured and, and wholesale distributed or whatever, whatnot. Um, there's nothing in here that, that you wouldn't want in your food. So that's cool. What does that really say about any other tobaccos? Now I'm not writing off any, all the other brands that are out there. I'm just saying it's, it's kind of a cool feature that I never, I never knew about or, or really didn't make sense to me why that would make a difference. Uh, but the one thing with Tangiers, when I smoke it, I, I don't, I rarely get that sick feeling. Um, it, it does take a little while to get used to just the different flavor because it is a very natural, uh, natural tobacco. So you're going to get a little bit different of a tobacco flavor itself. But but once you get used to it, what after two, three, four smokes, maybe a week of smoking it, that's when you really begin to appreciate it. So I got my bowl cooking. Uh, true to the Tangiers setup, uh, Tangiers, small Tangiers funnel bowl, three coconut coals and out of my can. Um, it's been cooking for a little bit now while I've been babbling along, so I'm actually going to take a puff out of it so I don't kill the session. It's so awesome. I would fail as a hookah reviewer if I just left it at that, but it's awesome. Uh, the thing with Lucid and, and the new packing method that I've that I've perfected, it's a smooth smoke, silky smooth, no harshness whatsoever. It almost feels impossible to burn. Like I said, I got three coconuts on this, so they're high heat coals. Um, but this the smoke is so smooth, you get the full flavor. Uh, of whatever flavor that you're smoking, in this case I'm smoking cocoa, and just, the, did you see the clouds? I'll show you again. So 
So you can see the amazing cloud output uh, and just no burning taste whatsoever. Not a bit. Um, naturally, I'm going to be shooting uh, an instructional on how to, to load Tangier's Lucid in a funnel bowl. So that way I can hopefully get some of you guys to experience this and maybe even enjoy it as much as I do. But as far as the flavor itself, I'm going to go into the review a bit because I am dragging along a little bit. Um, but the cocoa, it, it smells out of this world. It smells just like hot cocoa, cocoa pebbles, kind of anything cocoa you can think of. It smells just like it. It smells delicious. Uh, as far as how it translates into the, to the smoke flavor, true to the taste, 100%. Um, cloud output is, is obviously a given. Uh, the, the buzz level, for those of you that are interested, it's, it's probably a step above off locker. But off locker, I get a bit more of a harshness. It's, it's more of like a, you know, kind of kick you in the nuts type of... Uh, I, I, I'm probably going to scratch that, but for the sake of argument, I'll just leave that in there for you guys. I, I don't really know what I was trying to say. Um, but basically, just no harshness, uh, and it's just smooth. And I think it has a lot to do with the, the lack of any kind of additives, preserves, whatever. whatever. Um, it, just, it just tastes more natural and, and just, just true, you know? So, I mean, I get like probably about an hour to an hour and a half, sometimes even two hours, depending on how I manage the heat. And, you know, taking it off, taking it off, how, how fast I'm actually chain smoking this. So, I mean, you get a really, really long smoke out of it if managed properly. Um, but the cocoa flavor itself, it, I mean, it's up there. I, it's so hard for me to give 100 out of 100. But the cocoa, I, I'm going to go and give a 98 out of 100. That's the official hookahrub.com rating. Uh, if you like chocolate, if you like any of the kind of those richer flavors, give this one a shot. Uh, I mean, if you if you've kind of had your challenges with tangiers, loading it, smoking it, whatever in the past, just just wait wait for the the video that I'm actually going to release on the how to, and uh, I, I promise results. So this is Jake from hookahrub.com. Stay tuned. Like I said, a lot more information on this line of tobacco coming out. I know I'm probably eight years late. But you know what? It's a changing world. Everybody gets changing taste buds. Mine have obviously changed. Uh, like I said, I'm not I'm not writing every other brand off. But lately, this is all I've been smoking, and it's been about three weeks now. So, until next time, this is Jake from Hookerow.com.